Hello again and welcome. In this episode we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Just to give you a little history, I started testing these meters back in May 24th of 2015. Since then I've looked at 48 different meters. I started out the transient testing doing a shootout of $50 meters. They all had to be fused and they had to have a minimum of a Cat 3 600 volt rating on them. These ended up being the two finalists of that shootout and eventually this Fluke 101 took it as the 510 was damaged. That's one of the things I've shown during these videos is how some of the meters like this UT181A, very expensive meter, about $300 for this, could be damaged with something as simple as my little grill starter test. And then I've gone in and not only repaired the meter, but then made it a lot more robust than what it was from the factory. We have meters like this UT61E. Of course, this is the third one now that I've owned of a 61 series. Uh, 5KY, another member had uh, supplied me with the first two, which I damaged, of course. And then I bought this one for the sole purpose of showing how it could be modified to improve its robustness. And most of you are familiar with Dave Jones. He runs the EEV blog site. He released this rebranded Bryman. This is the BM235. This is one very robust meter. So you may not be aware that Dave's working with a couple of companies to help produce a new meter for him. This is going to be sold under a model number 121GW. And that meter will have a slot in the back behind the battery cover that will allow you to install a small flash card. And I guess the idea behind it is you could use it for data logging as well as reprogramming firmware updates into the meter. So I have here what I believe is one of the original prototypes. And I've already gone through and functional tested this. And I've got it attached to our original transient generator. This generator is currently strapped to what I subjected Dave's last meter to. And this is, I don't know, I think it's like 12, 13,000 volts right now at about 50 microsecond full with half height. So let's just turn this on and see what happens. Oh yeah, a little bit of breakdown up in this area just below the key switches. Let's just zoom in there a little bit. You can see like right here. Hopefully the camera will pick this up. Now it looks like he's got a little bit more work to do on it. But hopefully we can see that meter out pretty soon. David recently reviewed a Hioki handheld meter. And one of the things that impressed me is three times through that video, I watched him take this case and just really reef on it. So I thought really we should probably do the same kind of a test with this new meter. So here I have one of the 121 GWs. Oh, man, I don't know. Of course, if you watch any of Dave's videos, one of the things he'll do is take the meters for a swim. So here we have one of the 121 GWs, and I thought we'd just see how well this does in the water. Well, it seems to be handling it quite well. It looks like it's still running. You can see the display is still active. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's watertight. Hmm. Yeah, actually, it's looking like it's starting to fall apart. Well, maybe it's not IP67 rated. So obviously I really have no idea how the real 121GW is going to perform on these tests, but I do have a pretty good idea that Dave isn't going to let it out with his name on there if it's not going to at least perform as well as this BM235 does. We're slowly approaching 2,000 followers on this YouTube channel. I don't know why, but we are. And I thought, well, when we hit 2,000, that's kind of a major milestone. And I think what I'd like to do is let you guys pick what meter we're going to run. So I've started a poll up on the EV blog site, and I have a few different meters selected. Uh, or you can basically pick your own. Whatever meter you want to see me run is fine with me. I really don't care. We could even rerun the 87V if you think that that's the meter you want to see ran. I'm all for it. So come out and join the poll. Add your vote and let's just see what meter we end up running. I'll provide the link to the poll in the description. Until the next meter. Later.